Um, my name is Lila Anderson, and I'm the director of the Anderson Gallery. So the Solving Problems, our current show, is a faculty exhibition. Um, so it's the art and design faculty that have their work on display. And when we were talking about, you know, having that exhibition and sort of thematically, you know, what they wanted to address um, in that show, this idea of how does one solve problems um, through artwork came up. And I think that the faculty, to me what was really interesting about it is the faculty approached that in a lot of different ways. Sure. Some of them thought about that as a way to discuss like process and how when something comes up, you know, you're wanting to make something and something maybe like logistically is challenging or material is difficult, like how do you get around that, how do you work through in process. Um, whereas some of them took it to be much more about, you know, uh, artwork as a way to work through external problems or things that, um, you know, are, are issues in our world that they want to kind of mm -hmm. address through artwork. Um, so there's there's kind of a lot of different ways that people took that prompt, um, which makes the show exciting, I think. Professor Edward Kelly made a couple artworks that are more interactive, and those have definitely kind of seemed to engage students and trying to figure out kind of um, you know what they are how, how to engage with them I have a couple artworks in the show that I I find that I keep coming back to and looking at and you know it's always nice throughout the run of a show when you're with artworks for a long period of time like they sort of change and um, there's different ones that kind of draw draw your attention um, I suppose one that I've been thinking about um, is a book by Professor Jamie Hart. He's our, our new painting professor, um, and it's a collection of writings that he did over six years. And in the show, we just have it open to one page, um, and we don't we ask that people not um, touch it just because it is a delicate book. But he gave me permission to move that page each day throughout the show, so we could have different writings. And so I've been basically reading this book through the course of the show. So that has been kind of a fun experience to feel like I'm getting maybe a more close look at, at something than um, the average viewer. And my ultimate goals, right, with the, as director of the gallery is to, you know, let students know about the space and make sure they know it is a resource for them. I mean, I think as you sort of said um, in your question, you know, the idea that the space is providing inspiration to those that are makers and creators and artists, but I also think introducing, you know, people to new perspectives and different artists. I mean, I, we, I try and have a, a real range of different work that's on display. We have, you know, shows of both local and national artists, as well as our students here and our faculty. So there's a lot of different, um, perspectives that we try and you know show in the space and I think that's one way that we can be a resource and um, I do try and also work with um, certain classes directly and, and faculty to bring classes through but you know it's my hope that students feel like it's their space and it's your gallery and it's somewhere that you can um, come to and be and, and um, you know that it is a valuable resource in the Drake community. Yeah, so I guess I have two things that I'm particularly excited about that I wanted to share <laughs> with you. One of them is um, not an exhibition, but a, a performance that's gonna happen in the gallery. I'm collaborating um, with the music department um, to present a piece called 16 Pianos and Surround Sound. Um, it was composed by um, a composer, Nathan Felix, specifically um, for this occasion. So it will be a world premiere of that piece. Um, and again, it will be 16 pianos playing a piece all together. Uh, they'll be uh, in the Anderson Gallery as well as um, the areas outside of the gallery. It's all played by Drake um, piano program students as well as a couple of our music faculty. Um, so to me, that's a super exciting, you know, it's a collaboration between our departments. We have this really avant-garde kind of new composition that we're able to share with the community, you know, both at Drake and outside. So that's happening on March 20th and 21st at 7.30. We're gonna do two performances of that. Mm -hmm. um, so that I'm very excited about. And then following that, we have our annual student juried exhibition. Um, and that's always like a highlight um, 
for the Drake community, particularly just because um, it features a lot of different students um, and, and people can see their peers' artwork and um, it's a really celebratory um, show.